Hello, I am Rob Mattia with FMI Products. I am the National Field Service Manager. Tools needed? Gas leak detector? Gas pressure manometer or a magnahelic gauge? A multimeter? Phillips and a flathead screwdriver? Needle nose pliers? Jumper wire? And a small adjustable wrench? Millivolts and gas pressure are important questions that we ask to help diagnose problems. This demonstration is done with natural gas. Checking gas pressures. Proper inlet water column is 11 to 14 inches for propane. Manifold outlet water column is 10 to 10 and a half inches. Proper inlet water column is 8 inches for natural gas. Manifold outlet water column is 3 and a half inches. There is an inlet and an outlet pressure tap on the valve. Testing the inlet pressure, verify the gas to the appliance is off. Using a small flathead screwdriver, loosen the screw inside the test tap. Do not remove. Place the quarter inch ID tube from your pressure tester over the test tap completely. Open the gas shutoff, check the pressure, and record it. Shut off the gas to the appliance. Remove the quarter inch pressure testing tube. With a small flathead screwdriver, tighten the screw inside the tap. Turn the gas to the appliance on. Leak check the fitting. Checking outlet pressure. With a small flathead screwdriver, loosen the screw inside the outlet test tap. Do not remove the screw. Place the quarter inch ID tube from your pressure tester over the test tap completely. Light the pilot. Turn the gas knob to the on position. Turn the burner on in a high position. Check the pressure and record it. Shut the burner off. Turn the gas knob back to the pilot position. Remove the quarter inch pressure testing tube. With a small flathead screwdriver, tighten the screw inside the tap. Turn the appliance on, leak check the fitting. Turn the appliance off. Testing the thermal pile. With the pilot lit and the burner off, set your multimeter to the DC setting or millivolt setting. Place one probe on the terminal THTP, the other probe on the terminal TP. Millivolts generated should be 325 minimum. Generally, readings will be 400 to 700 millivolts. Record your readings. Keep the probes on the terminals and turn the appliance on. Millivolts will typically drop in half. 150 millivolts generated should be the minimum. Generally readings will be 180 to 280 millivolts. With the burner on, recheck millivolts every five minutes until they have held a steady reading and are not dropping. Record all your readings with the time recorded also. Checking thermocouple. Multimeter set on DC or millivolt setting. Disconnect the thermocoupler from the valve. With the pilot lit, test for millivolts with one probe on the copper the other probe on the inside dimple of the tip. 18 millivolt minimum is acceptable. Generally readings will be 20 to 30 millivolts. Record the readings. Your basic diagnostic testing is complete. 